Good morning guys and welcome to a half dead person. I've been spending the last few days here uh, but now I'm like I'm over it. <laughs> I've been so sick back and forth for the last two, two and a half weeks. So now it's time for like a glow up. I feel like I am falling apart. <laughs> Everything. So um, I'm gonna mix this vlog to be like a Q&A while glowing up. I'm done. I'm done being sick. So now I've decided I'm not sick anymore, even though I sound sick. So I'm gonna start with my the best drink to make that I've been drinking the last few weeks every day. <laughs> so let's come along and we do some questions while we're doing it. Okay, so what you need is ginger, lemon, orange and honey. That's like the basics. That's what everyone also says you should have when being sick. And I'm gonna squeeze it in this, do the ginger on this, and then put it in this. Okay, uh, sorry if they're gonna be very noisy, but that's just life. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start. First, I'm gonna cut up the orange. I don't know if you guys see what I do, you don't. Let's do this. Is that better? Uh, okay, so. First question, how are you? I think you meant like in general, because otherwise I, I'm not feeling great, but I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, but otherwise in life, uh, I feel good. Like, yeah, I feel good. Of course you guys have so many questions about like our relationship and everything, but I will answer those a bit later. But uh, generally I feel good. Family's coming here soon, so I look forward to that. So yeah, generally good, except for being sick too long. <coughs> More coffee. More coffee. And then the second question. Whoa! Why aren't the kids in kindergarten nursery? Na it's, a, it's a naked kid here in the back. I don't know if you see him. No, maybe. No, I think it's okay. Why aren't the kids in kindergarten nursery? I can't understand how you do it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no. They're, they're fantastic, but we are dying. Okay, so why they aren't in nursery is because we had planned for Leon to start when we get back here from the summer, but then, I don't know, we just didn't do it. And then I was also feeling a bit bad, like, because we're gonna have Leia at home. Um, it was like, it's more fun for both of them to be home together. But yeah, I think now they're super ready, but I'm also super happy we could actually stay at home with them this long. Like, Leon is three, Leia is almost two. She turns two end of March, so. So I think it's time. I've actually checked some nurseries for them to start in January, but it's all full. So, yeah. That plan didn't really go as I expected. I thought it would just apply for a spot here, since you pay for it here. So I was like, okay, they want, we want them to start in January. And then they're like, oh, no, no, no chance. <laughs> I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> So we're checking some options. Um, I would want them to start with other kids though and not just have like a nanny because then it's the same. I want them to be with more kids and you know. So we're working on it. But yeah, I don't know how we do it either. Yummy? Okay, I will do more questions soon. Trust me, I know. That's why I need this glow up. I'm still sipping on my tea. I add the honey in the after, like after it's been boiling a bit. I, I don't really boil it, but like heat it up. But I've heard so many times they shouldn't heat up the honey too much because then it like removes all the good stuff. But my number one, this part of the video 
is in collaboration with Tannerable. And if you have followed me, you know that my number one hack to feel good and like myself is to get a little tan. So, for my glow up, tanning is very key. I'm gonna continue with my little Q&A while doing this. And as you guys know, I love the pro. I also love the mousse on the rest of my body. I'm not gonna do that today though, because I am not fully <laughs> back. But this would at least give me like the glow up I need. Okay, next question. What is your best beauty hack? And I think I have replied to that already. So this, I just do this. Clean face. And then just this for a few seconds. Like if it's one thing that makes me feel good quickly, it's this. So this is my number one beauty hack. Plans for Christmas and New Year's. Uh, so my family is coming here for Christmas. So my, my sister, her kids, Jens, uh, my dad is obviously here with my brothers, my grandma, my aunt is coming, my cousins. <laughs> my mom is staying in Sweden though with like my grandma and grandpa on that side. Um, so yeah. The rest of the family will be here and they will be here for Christmas and New Year's. So we're just gonna hang out with the family, like no big Christmas parties or New Year's parties or... I mean we have the kids so it wouldn't be that anyways. I'm adding another layer. You could also do like contouring. No, I'm risking it a bit sitting here by the white wall. but. <laughs> Another question so many of you have asked is, why did you leave Marbella? Uh, I mean, I still love Marbella, I always will, it will always have a special place in my heart. But I think that like the reason and everything is too big to just like reply quickly in a video. So I think that will have to be its separate video, because it is like a few reasons why. One particularly big reason. So. I will have to do that in a later video, if you guys are really interested. It's just been stuff that we didn't really want to talk about, so uh, that's why I didn't mention it. Or like, why we didn't say anything, but then it's been so many weird ideas why we did it, and like why we left it so quickly, like we didn't leave it that quickly. I mean, our whole house got sold way quicker than we expected, so that's maybe why it was a bit rushed. But we had talked about it for a while before that because of a few different reasons. But that would have to be its own video, I think, because so many of you are asking about it, and it is actually a big reason why we have left. And yeah, I will do that. Uh, <laughs> a little cliffhanger here. Um, last minute Christmas gift ideas. You guys know I love photo books, but that might not be like the perfect uh, last minute Christmas gift, because that takes a while. Uh, I would say that Tan Revel is a great, like if you have a sister, a mom, even a boyfriend, a dad, whatever, uh, Jon steals this all the time, like I know so many guys also using it, so it's not just for girls, like so many people think. Seriously, amazing Christmas gift, amazing. I already feel way more fresh. I'm not gonna add more because this is gonna increase and increase and increase. I mean, now they have a must-have spray tan kit, so it's with like all their favorites, it's with the Pro, the band, the mini machine, which is great if you like go away for the weekend or if you go for a trip, if you don't want to bring the whole thing. Uh, I can put a photo here with everything that's included in the must-have spray tan kit. That's a great gift, but also just like the Pro or the Mousse or something from Tan Revel. And right now they have up to 25% off on the website. And with the code YANI5, it will give you an additional 5% off. So check it out. And if you place your order before the 19th of December, you will get it until like for Christmas. So hurry up. I will have the links here below and like the offer and everything. And then I will also show you how it looks later on and uh, how my glow up continues because I'm in big need. Should we do another question or should we do it on the next? I think it's nice to like split it up a bit and th throughout the day. Should we do that? Let's do that. But yeah, wow. I mean, already. I will do a photo like in this morning compared to this afternoon when I've done my glow up. Can't wait. As you hear, I'm still like not feeling 100%. Should I just do the mousse everywhere? Like usually I do the face with the pro and then I do the rest of the body with the mousse. But I am actually thinking I'm not, I'm too lazy for that tonight, or today. <sighs> okay, but yeah, don't miss out on the offer. Yanni5 will give you an additional 5% off and they have 
offers up to 25%. So yeah, check it out. Now I will take the kids somewhere and uh, yeah, continue my glow up later on. So guys, hi. Uh, part of me doing a glow up is also to finally start eating some good food again. Jonas been cooking great, but you know when you're sick, like especially like having a cold and like ugh, you don't really want to eat anything healthy. So you eat like shit and that's also probably because you don't feel like eating anything healthy because it tastes different and weird. Usually I love healthy food, uh, but um, yeah, that probably also makes you be sick longer because you don't eat any good vitamins. So that's part of my glow up, to start prep some food. I've said that so many times, to like have like sweet potatoes, broccoli, quinoa, stuff like that like prepared in the fridge. Um, yeah. Let's continue with the question while I'm uh, cooking. Don't you miss traveling is a question. And I mean, yes and no. We decided to have kids because we were so over it. Like if it is your, it, this sounds super, what do you say? Spoiled and like world that you're not really a normal person, I guess. But when you travel as much as we did back then before having kids, that of course changed with COVID and everything, but that is like your everyday life and you get used to it. So you don't enjoy it as much. And in the end, it was too many travels. So I barely remembered where I've been. Like, oh, I've been there, you know, and that's sad. So I was done traveling. Like I felt that I've done it um, I don't really enjoy it. Now I would probably enjoy it more, but um, we needed a big break and we were like, we've seen so much already, so it's time to take a step back and that was like the next step in our life, to have kids. And for me, I don't, I know a lot of people still travel when they have kids. Um, I don't think that's for me. Uh, I would be too stressed. I'm also <laughs> the most controlling mom, like worried all the time. I want to know where the hospital is, like if something happens, can they eat, blah, blah, blah. So I can miss it sometimes, but not maybe where I'm at in life right now uh, with small kids. I'm sure they would enjoy it, but they wouldn't really remember it. Uh, so both yes and no. I can miss it, but then it's more that I miss that life I had. And that was a great time in my life. And I'm super happy I did it. Like I moved away from home when I was 20 was the first time I moved to another country. Like. Then I moved to London, so I think I've been traveling for so many years. You know, then I lived there for six months, then I moved straight to Spain for three months, and then back to Sweden, and then I like, started traveling with Jun, and yeah. So I think I've traveled so much that I see it more as like a fun part of my life. And when the kids get older, of course, I want to travel with them as well to explore the world. I think you will travel in a different ways see the world from their eyes and that would be fun, I guess. But for me to jump on a flight for like 12 hours to go to the Maldives or whatever, not there yet. <laughs> so no, I miss it, but not really. Like I enjoy having routines and stuff like that right now where I'm at in life. That was a long answer. How do you think have you changed since being a mom? Like how I've changed since becoming a mom? Uh, completely, I would say. I'm still me in like the core, who I am and who I've always been, but I'm way more worried and me, I come last in this pri priority line. I always put them first. I've also got a way more understanding for my mom and like appreciation for my mom and that of course, but we were mostly with my mom when we were kids. So I look at her differently and like, it's just insane what parents do for you. It's like you can't understand until you have your own kids. And that makes me also understand way less parents that, you know, hurt their kids, leave their kids. I know they might be in like a different state mentally. That's why they do it because they're not feeling good. But I don't understand it. Like I don't understand. Uh, so yeah, I have changed completely. I would say my life has taken a u-turn and like changed completely too. I went from traveling, being this super crazy, woo, doing whatever, spontaneous, to the complete opposite. But that doesn't have to be for everyone. Like, some people continue doing that. But as I mentioned earlier, that's just not for me. I think I 
want to have a safe place for the kids and have routines and that's why we just you know do that it works best for us uh, it, when we have traveled I'm like ah, it's just too much for my brain to handle and I'm also a control freak and that hasn't changed it's just that I have way more to control now so yeah a bit more stressed uh, way more nervous or what do you say not nervous I'm not the nervous kind of person but I see fears I've always been this super easy going like yeah whatever it's fine I can do whatever but now I'm not really like that anymore because now I have two people to take care of full time so yeah I think it has changed a lot a lot but I think most people say that and if they don't well then we're just different I guess should we do one more question? Wow, I'm, I'm super slow at cutting the potatoes. Any travel dreams, goals for 2023? <laughs> As you probably guess, no travel dreams for next year. A goal is to put the kids to a school, like a preschool or nursery. There's so many words for it in other countries. In Sweden, we just have, we call it preschool. Here it's like nursery, crash, uh, kindergarten. <laughs> I don't really know the difference, to be honest. But that's the goal, I think it's good for them, but also for me to have some time to focus on myself and work and I think I will actually be a better mom. I'm really trying my best, I have the craziest patience usually with my kids, I can just like, okay, swallow it, I understand, you're upset, but I think I would be more playful when you don't have them full full time, plus having a job, two jobs, <laughs> plus taking care of the home and like doing the laundry, cooking. It would have been better if I actually took some help. Now Jon and I are both doing it together, obviously. Uh, if I would do it completely alone, I would for sure hire help with like cleaning and cooking probably, because I could do that, but we just haven't done it. And that's probably stupid. We should have done that from the beginning. But when they start preschool, that's the goal, to have them start preschool. Fun for them. Fun for all of us, I think, because we will have more fun together than <laughs> being with each other 24-7. But I've also, as I said, I really enjoyed having them home for this long. Um, I think it's not time I will ever regret having spent, like, spent this much time with the kids when they were kids, when they were small. I'm still a bit brain dead, I'm sorry about it. Um, I'm still trying to recover. Should that be enough? I'm gonna save one. That, that will be fine for now. Okay, I will see you in my next step of my glow up. Do you see? Well, the glow is already coming, guys. I don't know if you see. I already feel way more awake. Okay, just put some oil, salt, pepper. We're good to go. Yum. Okay, a little update. We have the sweet potato. We have broccoli. We have green peas. <laughs> We have some fish uh, sticks, we have some salmon with feta and sun-dried tomatoes, we have some bulgur. Good start. So now we are at the stage that makes such a big difference as well, which is having a bath, wash your hair, which I haven't done in like a week and a half now because I haven't had the energy. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I will get back to you with questions after that. First, freshen up time, glow up time. But by the way, do you see the tan now? It will go away so it won't be this dark, but it will still keep going. So now it's like four and a half hours since I did it. So as you can see, it like increases over time. Okay, bath. see now so many colors going on this chair is just here usually I have like a beige bed cover but now I have green because it's Christmas uh, now I'm gonna do my hair because that also makes me always feel so much nicer you guys have some questions about my hair but I don't know I start using this one sometimes it's from color wow dream coat 
you should just like you should actually like split your hair in different segments and like be really thorough with where you spray it but i don't have the energy for that now but it's really nice and then it lasts for like three to four shampoo sessions okay let's dig into the questions a few more <clears throat> it's mostly like do you enjoy cypress um where would you live how's you and in your relationship and a lot of kids questions now I'm also using this one from Gisu. I mixed with this one and the one from Antonio, my hairdresser. But I ran out of his, so now I'm back on this one. Really like Gisu brand. I love their oil as well. Like heat protection. Um, okay, so a kid's question. Would you recommend two under two? <laughs> no, but seriously, it's, it's gonna be great. Uh, my sister had the same. I think if, like the stage where I'm at now, uh, if I would, do it again i would probably have waited until the oldest is two and then like give birth to the second but you can't pick and choose like that i know but leon was one year and four months yeah one year and four months when i had leah so i mean it's gonna be better and better and better it's already easier they're playing together they're almost the same age it feels like sometimes but yeah i mean you're gonna do it it's just a few years of like really hard work mentally and physically <laughs> um <clears throat> okay <clears throat> how many times you work out a week how do you keep your fitness and to be like obviously now i'm sick but i haven't really been working out that much uh, lately uh, because yeah just no energy for it i know it makes me feel way better i started again but then we got like a bit sick on and off and so right now I'm doing nothing, like I can't wait to go back to my walks. That's the only type of fitness I'm doing at the moment, I would say. Not now, obviously, since I'm sick, so I'm not doing anything because I don't even have the energy to go for a walk, but go for walks. Like go for 40, 45 minutes in the morning and then maybe some Pilates. That's where I'm at now. I would love to start doing Pam's workouts again, but that will be later on, like when I have my energy back. Okay, let me just blow dry. Also, this one, the new Dyson. Obsessed. You guys know I love Dyson, but just saying. Obsessed. Okay, done blow drying it. Um, no, I'm just gonna. This is usually how I do. I like split it into two one top and one bottom. I'm gonna start with the bottom. Uh, okay, next question. What are your tips for good parenting? Uh, I would say. Everyone knows what's best, usually, for their kids. And uh, to have patience, that's like, you get to practice that a lot. And also to remember that it's such a short time in your life and you will probably miss it. That helps me to think about sometimes, like when it's really tough to like, okay, I'm gonna miss these moments, maybe not the tantrums, but like I'm gonna miss them being this small and everything. And I heard such a good, uh, I think it was a reel or a TikTok, I don't remember, but it was like, when you have a really shitty time, like in a moment with the kids, imagine yourself being like, it was something like this, I don't remember fully, but imagine yourself being 80 years old or whatever, how much you would pay to go back to just that moment with the kids being kids and you could like hold them, cuddle them, like how much would you pay when you're 80 years old to like go back to that moment? So sometimes I think of that. That was such a nice, also a bit like, <laughs> so, you know, but it's a good way to think. Like, when I'm older, I'm gonna miss this. Obviously not the tantrums, as I've said, but you know. Okay, one more and then I'm gonna do my hair. Any plans to move or are you happy in Cyprus? Um, happy here, it gets a bit same same, but that's I guess how it is with kids. So we'll see what the future holds. Nothing decided yet, like no big plans or anything, but we'll see. Like we enjoy it here, of course, like the weather is nice. It's super chill, but sometimes I feel that it's a bit too chill with two kids, you can't do too many things and we're also pretty comfortable. So we stay mostly in this area. So that's on us too. But yeah. Okay, now the nice thing with the new one, this is not an ad for them, but you just flip it so you don't have to have the several different, these ones. Okay, let's do it. Let's just see which way, this way. I'm thinking about doing it the other way around today. I've never done it. You know, the curls going inwards. Let's try it.
See ya. It was really a different vibe to like do it inwards. I know they say do it out to like open up your face, but this was kind of nice. It's a bit more secret. Okay, now I mean, can you see the tan? I look way more alive already compared to this morning. <laughs> So happy. Now I'm just gonna do a little makeup. Usually I don't wear makeup, like now I don't have anything. And the skin is pretty good and pretty glowy. I don't know if you guys see. Uh, after the tan rebel. And then I'm gonna ask you to trim my little bangs a bit. I haven't done it since this summer, so I need to trim. And then we can do some questions for him. It's better we both uh, answer the questions we have about us. So let's go ask him. Okay, next step in my glow up. <laughs> it's, it's very necessary. Jun is gonna do uh, my hair. My bangs. How is it? Uh, hairdressers do. Good. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> they stand... Uh, yeah, as you see, it, like, it's very long. I have to long. try and act like Antonio. Now it's barely like I have a bang anymore. Let's see. We're gonna do it with some questions, probably the most asked ones. Why are you and Jun always together after your breakup? <laughs> well, we kind of have this thing in common. <laughs> we had two kids. <laughs> and it's not like we hate each other, so... We can't hang out. No, it's all fake. It's all fake. It was all a PR stunt, right? No, but we are... I mean, we live here. There's gonna be more similar questions, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if I can talk and cut your... No, okay, I can do the talking, I guess. <laughs> Do you remember how you did it? First you took the triangle, remember? But we are always together because uh, we live here and we have two small kids together that we still take care of together, yeah. full time. Will you stay in the same house as you forever? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Until the kids are 18. Exactly. And even after that. No, but we just go with the flow. I think we're very un-normal. Like, not so normal when it comes to this. <laughs> you're, you're not saying anything. No, but I'm like... Busy cutting. You know, I'm a man. We can't do two things at the same time. True. No, but I think, back to the question, I think a lot of people think that a divorce has to be like, you hate each other, you can't talk to each other. But it doesn't have to be like that always, you know. Some people still stay friends and actually can hang out. Just so you know. Yeah, most questions are like, are you planning on staying in Cyprus together with Jun? Are you and Jun still going to live together? That's like most of the questions I got in general. So the plan for now is yes. We're planning on living together. Do you have anything to add? or you? What? Now you're not doing as you usually do. You usually do this, remember? No. Yeah, I know. Okay. I have to pull it down first. Ah, okay, okay. I spent okay. like three minutes trying to oh, ease it down. Sorry. I'm nervous, you know. Another well, question to you guys. Would you let your ex-husband cut your bangs? <laughs> Would you? No, because you don't cut hair that much. <laughs> See, I don't actually get, like, why I need to pull it across. I mean... I just think it's the best angle. Yeah, but I already see the angle. Yeah, but then you won't see how... Like, you can't cut shorter than the nose. And remember when you did the nose, it was almost too short. That's why it's a good reference and you should... Now you're just going for it. Testing a new technique. Okay, well, don't cut too much. Now I think when you pull it up like that, that's when the angle gets wrong. You know? Oof, this feels short. No? So to the questions, I, we don't have much to update you guys on. But we don't really have a plan for the future and everything yet. We're pretty busy taking care of the two kids all the time. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think that's the moral of the story that we have been so busy getting for our morning tonight. Yeah. Keeping them happy. So we don't really have the energy to set a proper plan. Whoa! Short! No? Two and a half centimeters. Okay. I cannot put it behind my ear now. <laughs> Shorter, but okay. It grows quick. This, this ended up a bit short, no? <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit shorter than expected, but like looking at... I mean, I didn't cut anything more than two and a half, so... 
Okay, it's not a lot of talking going on here, so I'll see you in the next step. Okay, here we have the result. It's a bit shorter than I th maybe thought, but it looks cool. I think it's great. Such a pro hairdresser. And I also put my makeup, changed into my favorite outfit. I haven't felt this fresh in two weeks, probably. <laughs> Should we do one last question and then we end this video? I'm glad it looks good because it was shorter than I thought. Yeah, right? I was like, oops. No, but it looks, it looks good when you style it. And this, if it's shorter, it's also easier to, like, to have it stay in the same position. Yeah, so now I can talk. I was quite focused. Yeah. Okay, last question. Are you happy? I would say, yes, at the moment I am happy because I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> but I guess we mean like in overall life. I um, haven't really been able to feel how you feel yourself. Because you, like, I know people might think this is complaining about being with the kids too much. But they take all the focus, all the energy. So you don't really, you only care about how they feel. Do you agree? I do. You don't really have time to think how you, how you feel. That's like now when I've been sick and I haven't been able to do as normal. I feel super bad. Like I have bad, uh, what do you say? Dåligt samvete. Bad conscience and I feel like a bad person. So that's something I really need to work on because that's not normal. Like you can be sick and not feel like you're a useless person. Yeah, it's like we go to the playground and I'm like, you rest. I can't rest. And I come back and you Yeah, like I, I, I don't know. I'm really not good at it. So that's something I'm going to work on. But overall I feel happy. Like the kids are growing up. They're super funny. We laugh so much with them because they are... Two very special human beings, and I'm sure all parents say that, but they are very funny. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A. We should do it more often because it was a lot of questions. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget the Tan Rebel offer. I have it all linked here below so you can check it out. But I mean, wow. The glow you get, seriously. And like the tan, how it makes you feel. I feel like a new person now. And it matches so well together with my set. This is my favorite color, I think. The brown that we dropped. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed.